What's up my friends? I've got some exciting news about the bike we've been creating over the past several months and here it is. Hey there, my name is Ryan Van Duzer and welcome to my YouTube channel. I create bike packing videos all over the world and some ultra running content. Now I want to give you a little bit of background about what we're doing here. We are creating a more affordable bike packing bike and when I say we, I mean Priority Bicycles and me. I've been working together with them since 2018. They've become my dear friends and I love their bikes. Their whole philosophy is to create bikes that are low maintenance. And when you're out there bike packing, that is what you want. Back in 2020, I helped them develop a bike packing bike called the 600X, which is now the 600ADX. And that is the bike that I ride on all of my adventures around the world and I absolutely love it. But that bike is $3,500 and while that is a very good value for what you're getting, I realize that that price tag is out of range for some people. So we put our heads together and thought, let's make an affordable, more affordable bike packing bike so we can get you off the couch and trying something new and exciting. And we've made two videos in this series really crowdsourcing your ideas on what you want to see on this bicycle. And so now I finally want to give you an update. We are very close to getting this out there. And here it is. Well, on paper at least, but doesn't it look cool? I want to address something that we spoke about in the last video in this series. And that was, should this bike have the pinion gearbox which is absolutely the gold standard and will give you a range of gears which will allow you to tackle any type of terrain, especially with a loaded down bike and there's lots of weight on it. Or should we go even more affordable and use the Shimano Alphine 11, which is still awesome. It's on the Priority Apollo. I've ridden that bike thousands of miles. It's good, but it doesn't quite have the gear range for going up really steep mountains and inclines. We asked you what we should do, and the voting was kind of even between Pinion and Alphine, and we thought at the time, okay, we'll just make two versions of this bike. But I've been talking with Eddie and Dave at Priority, and we have decided that we want to stick with just the Pinion. I mean, there's really nothing better. And we want to give you a bike that we feel good about knowing that you can take this bike on any terrain and you're not gonna have any limitations at all. So this bike is going to have the Pinion 12-speed gearbox. Okay, how are we making it more affordable? And I will say right off the bat, our goal is to keep this bike around $2,200, which is an amazing value for what you're getting. Where are we gonna save some money? Right up here is a big one. This is not a suspension fork. It's going to be a chromoly steel fork with plenty of, what are they called? Eyelets, rivets, mounting points for gear. It's gonna be the same geometry as the Priority ADX and people who have been riding that bike this year have been really psyched on this comfortable geometry. It'll come in four sizes, of course. The wheels are gonna be the same wheels as the Priority ADX, it's a really strong wheel set. The brakes are gonna be four piston brakes up here. And really, overall, it's gonna have a more value-oriented build kit, but still solid as a rock. You're gonna be able to get this bike and pretty much ride it anywhere. And I shouldn't say pretty much, you will be able to ride it on any type of terrain. And if you wanna upgrade any of the components in the future, you can do that easily. And if you're paying close attention, you may have seen the title of the bike up here. I don't think we've announced this yet, the actual name of the bike. We're calling it the Bruiser. Isn't that sweet? I wonder where we got that name from. <laughs> I remember my dad when I was a little kid, he'd be like, you're cruising for a bruising. And so I kind of like that this bike is now going to be called the Bruiser and we're all going to be cruising for a bruising. <laughs> all right, now for the fun part. This is where we need your help. You are gonna help us choose the color scheme for this bike. I'm gonna show you five different options and you are gonna write in the comment section 
which is your favorite color, and we will add them all up, and whichever one has the most votes is going to win. Okay, so first off, this is the current color. I guess just write down current color because that's all we have here, but it's pretty sweet. I like it. You notice it has the two-tone color uh, scheme like the Priority HXT, okay? The next one, Moss and Black. Ooh, that one's pretty sweet too. It's gonna be hard to choose. How about the next one? We've got Storm Gray Blue. I like this one for sure. Darker bikes, you know, are kind of nice because you put some bright bike packing bags on them. It makes it pop. How about this one? A little taupe action. I dig it. It's pretty similar to the first option, but I like this one as well. And just for fun, I don't think this one's gonna win, but how about this? Pumpkin. A little pumpkin spice bike packing bike. And I almost forgot to mention, this is pretty sweet. This is our new design for the head badge. We're gonna have the Get Out There logo with a little bit of mountain action in there and the P for priority that will be on the head tube of the bike. And then as always, that was as we've had on the 600X and ADX, the seat tube will have Boulder's famous flat iron mountains, which I love so much. We are so excited about this bike and we're almost at the finish line. We hope to have it to you by this spring, which really isn't too far away. And we thank you for all of your help and all the feedback you've given us on the previous videos. We've gotten thousands of comments from people on what they'd like to see in this bicycle. Maybe it's the first crowdsourced bike ever, I don't know, but we're psyched about this bike and we're psyched that you've been a part of this and you're gonna help us choose the color, of course. And when I take a few steps back about riding bikes and traveling by bike, the whole goal is to inspire you to get out and challenge yourselves and to have fun. That's really the number one goal. You see in my videos, when I'm out there, I'm having the time of my life and I'm connecting with all these amazing humans and you don't have to be an amazing athlete to do this. You can choose your own adventure and we hope that this bike will allow you to uh, do things you never thought possible. So thank you so much for watching this whole series of, of videos and this, this video in particular. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be awesome. Stay tuned for more bike adventures from around the world. And of course, I will give you an update when this thing is not just paper anymore, but a real bicycle. Thank you all so much. You are amazing. But wait, there's more. I know you didn't ask for it, but this is a bonus bike. This is the brand new Doozer Cruiser Cruiser bike. Check this out. Colorado flag colors and the front badge right here, of course. We've got the get out there. So cool with the mountains and the sun. We got this 80s style, super slick looking cruiser bike. Gates carbon belt drive. It's a one geared, super sweet cruising machine. Not made for bike packing, but if you want to give it a shot, go for it. <laughs>